today to show you the brand new Fortin Cali Suite by Neural DSP. Now I've had this plugin for a couple of days now and I'm not going to jinx it and say it's my favourite because I mean Archetype Nolly is really really cool and that has been my go-to lead sound for a while now but this is seriously close. The more and more I'm playing with it the more I'm feeling that it feels more like an amp to me and there's some really usable tones in there. When I saw the name Fortin, I honestly thought, oh, okay, this is going to be like a really high gain type amp, not really something that I would use. But having tried it, there's quite a lot of cool stuff in there, I, I think, anyway. So, I mean, guys, in order to check out that stuff, we need to head over that way. But before we do that, please do make sure you like, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications. I'm making things like lesson content. I'm releasing my own music very, very soon. Um, and I make videos like this all the time it's at least once a week so yeah it means the world to me okay then guys let's dig into it let's head over that way so when you first open the plugin this is what you are faced with essentially this is very typical if you're used to the neural dsp plugins it works the same way it's a gorgeous looking interface actually i mean if we look through then at the top we have the pedal section so in this one we actually have the fortin zool pedal which is a noise gate really handy if you've got a load of gain. We have the hex drive, which is just like an overdrive pedal, but it actually sounds wicked in front of the cleanup, I think, anyway, with this. And then we have the grind pedal, which I actually haven't found a use for in terms of like my style of playing. I guess what this is, is it's boost, but it seems to get rid of um, like loads of low end. So I guess if you're playing like, you know, high gain stuff and you want to go into a solo, type tone, this could probably work well. I just haven't found a use for it personally. Um, this is the main section though, so this is the amp section. Now, with this one we have a clean amp, we have OD2 and we have OD1. Um, it's worth noting as well, down here we have a MIDI mapper, so if you do want to control things via MIDI, you can. And we have the tuner, which is, I think, one of the most important additions to uh, these latest plugins, it really is handy. Finally then, over on this side, we have the speaker section or the cab sim section. So you have a wide selection of mics as always with these Neural DSP plugins. So you have like a 57 condenser, typical ribbon mics, things like that. And you can link some of them as well. So you could have two mics on at once. But yeah, I mean, what does it sound like? I guess this is the most important thing. So yeah, here's some of my presets and I'm gonna walk you through a few of these. So this one is essentially called Clean Boost Solo. So, I mean, it does what it says on the tin, really. Let's just take a little listen to this then. 
I guess you could dial down the gain if you wanted to here. I mean, let's just have a listen to what that will sound like. This is more like a clean amp if you do this. Here, that's cleaned up quite nicely, really. Yeah, wicked. Let's look at another preset then. I mean, we have here easy low gain lead, so this is the one which you had right at the beginning of this video, um, it was kind of playing the chordal things. Let's have a listen to that. So with this one actually, I am using the pedal in front of this. This is the hex drive. I think that sounds wicked. Without it, let's just hear it. So that kind of sounds like, a, I guess, a cranked amp if we look at the gain section over here. Yeah, the gain is way up. Um, but when we add in this hex drive, it just, it sounds delicious to my ears anyway. It's a typical low gain kind of sound. <laughs> It is worth me pointing out, by the way, I don't think I mentioned it earlier, most of these settings, by the way, I am using a stock Logic reverb and delay, um, just to make it feel a bit more comfortable for this demo. Without it, it will just sound a little bit dry, I think, at the end. That is totally personal. I mean, it doesn't really cool the sound in any way, I don't think. But yeah, I mean, let's move on to another preset then. So let's try high gain lead. sounds a little bit more scooped to my ears at the minute. Yeah, I'm not using actually any pedals in front of that. That is just this OD1. Now, it's interesting with these amps actually. I was trying to figure out what these little controls are at the bottom and they do actually change the tone quite significantly. I mean, if we just have a listen to this, this over here, I guess it's towards this pulse set knob down here, but in the middle, let's just hear it first. <laughs> Sounds totally different, that mid response. And the same with this control over here, the thump control. I actually really like this in the middle for most of these sounds, but let's just hear the difference then. So. It sounds much more scooped, I think. And then the other side. Totally usable, I just prefer it for my lead sounds, I think, in the middle here. That wicked to my ears, that. Let's move on then to a few of the other things. So this is, I guess, like a mid-gain lead. Again, this one I think is using the pedal in front. Yeah, I'm right. It's just a little bit more drive on this side. So this one actually cleans up really nicely from what I remember. If I roll down my volume, let's just have a little listen to this. Cool. 
Last one I'll show you guys then really is this one, this whole synth like tone. I don't know how I came across this, but it just to me sounds really like a synth. I don't know why, I'll let you be the judge of it, but let's take a little listen. of notes. I mean, let's roll the tone down and let's just hear what that sounds like. Yeah, there's something really cool going on there. So I hope you guys enjoyed some of those sounds there. I mean, I really do like this plugin. That's genuine. Um, between this and Archetype Nolly, it's hard for me really to pick a, a favorite from Neural DSP. Of course, you can download a free trial of this. It's 14 days, I believe. It's well worth it if you're thinking about, you know, a cheap option in terms of just having a plugin ready to go that's kind of got the quality of what we're hearing on most albums and recordings these days. It feels really good as well. I think that's the main thing, especially this one and Archetype Nolly for me. These are the ones which really do stand out. So yeah, I mean, guys, if you did enjoy it, please do leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the little bell for notifications. I shall see you guys next time. Cheers.